In the 1960s, Tom Fogarty and his younger brother John Fogarty formed a band. Originally featuring Tom as the frontman before John took over, the brothers were joined by musicians Stu Cook and Doug Clifford as they tried out different band names, like the Blue Velvets and the Gollywogs. Finally, they settled on a new band name, Credence Clearwater Revival. The band became a worldwide sensation, but a bitter feud between Tom and John tore the group apart. Tragically, they never truly reconciled before Tom's untimely death at just 48 years old in 1990. Tom's passing was a shock to fans, especially because the New York Times reported that the official cause of death was respiratory failure due to tuberculosis, a disease that most people associate with the 19th century. But the full truth was later revealed. Tom's tuberculosis was a complication from the AIDS virus, which, according to Ultimate Classic Rock, Tom acquired from a tainted blood transfusion during a back surgery in the 1980s. Early in that decade, the human immunodeficiency virus and acquired immune deficiency syndrome, aka HIV and AIDS, had made its way to the United States. According to HIV in the Blood Supply, an analysis of crisis decision-making, blood transfusions became a main avenue of transmission, with thousands of blood transfusion recipients inadvertently infected. Sadly, Tom Fogarty was among those blood transfusion recipients during a time when there was little to no treatment for HIV or AIDS. Still, despite Tom's illness, he and John struggled to put aside their bitter feud, which had torn the band apart almost two decades earlier. By the time the band changed their name for the last time to Creedence Clearwater Revival, they had found major success from 1968 to 1970, a meteoric rise during those years with four top five singles on the Billboard Hot 100 and three top ten albums on the Billboard 200. Even as they achieved popular success, though, the dynamic in the band had shifted, and it was John on lead vocals fronting the band. Egos clashed, and Tom left the band in 1971 at the height of its popularity. The band broke up entirely at the end of 1972. In the subsequent decades after CCR disbanded, the siblings and other band members were embroiled in lawsuits and disagreements. John Fogarty wrote in his autobiography, Fortunate Son, My Life, My Music, that he felt Tom had sided against him by joining the rest of the band and selling out to John's archenemy, producer Saul Zantz. He told Opie Radio, The other three guys have sold their voting right in Credence to Saul Zantz, my worst enemy, the guy at the record company. They sold their vote. John said that he attempted to reconcile, visiting Tom just before the end, but even in his final days, Tom still considered Zantz to be his best friend, driving a wedge between the brothers that persisted after death. I was sad that life had been taken from Tom, and that sadness was mixed up with all the other emotions. I was pissed that Saul had mangled our relationship because he certainly messed it up. Tom was an unwitting pawn, but all that sure doesn't mean anything wherever Tom is now. John went on to say that though they didn't reconcile in life, he has since moved past his anger and forgiven him for the perceived betrayal. I love my brother. I sure love the old family days, the way we were as kids. It's resolved, and somehow Tom knows it's all right, wherever he is. If John Fogarty's sadness about his brother Tom's death was mixed with other emotions, Tom had mixed emotions about John as well. In a 1986 interview with MTV, Tom said he was really impressed by his brother's talent as a musician. I think that he had one of the most unique voices. I used to have to reinforce him and say, I think it's right up there with Ray Charles and Van Morrison, you know? It's a voice that's distinct and everybody already really liked that voice. And I had no idea that he would go on to write such great songs too, though. So I think he's great. All that said, Tom told the interviewer he never even listened to his brother's 1985 critically acclaimed comeback album, Center Field, because it was too painful due to the album's similarities to their work together in CCR. It was hard for me to get past that, so ultimately I never bought the album, never heard it. From John's point of view, Tom was always jealous of his talent, and so were CCR bandmates Cook and Clifford. In 2000, John told The Guardian, I have very confused feelings for my brother because there was a time when things were happy. The best I can say in Tom's case is he was the older brother and the younger brother had a lot more talent. Therefore, he was jealous even to a greater degree than the other two in Credence Clearwater Revival. One of those two, Stu Cook, summed up the whole tragic situation, telling The Guardian, It's the saddest story in rock and one of the longest ongoing stupid feuds. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite musicians are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.